lots of battery power. We'll uh, unload the battery from that. That. Complete Idiot's Guide to Technomancy! Holy crap. Alright, well, it, it got worth it. Read. Yeah, yeah. Alright. We'll hope we get out of here with them. Anything else? Steel chain. Mana potion. Cat's grace. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> now it's gonna get ugly. So, they... Something spotted me or heard me. I gotta break this in order to get anything out of there. Something's chasing me. Magitech and scroll of fireball. Six hundred wield cost. I want the wand of fireball. God damn it! I knew that's what was going to show up. <laughs> They're just everywhere. <laughs> Hey, lights! <laughs> you just decided to change brightness again, did you? Ugh, just a sec. <laughs> Damn lights. Okay. <laughs> Even the lights know something's wrong. Oh boy. What a surprise. Mr. Predator. Hmm. What did we get so far? Fireball scroll, dark sight. Is that night vision? Darkness holds no secrets. Adjust your sight to see in perfect darkness. Oh my goodness. Uh, if all I do is get out of here, I'll consider it a successful run. The fireball wand would be nice, but we can come back. Especially once I've got night vision and I don't have to rely. I don't know what the range is on that, but um, if I don't have to rely on the moon to give me some vision, that would be nice. Surviving this guy. I gotta decide, do I want to randomly teleport to give me some range and hope? Or try to get a door between me and him? Front door or the window there. Pretty much my only options. There's usually some more magic stuff over here. But Predator's so fast, I don't want to risk taking the time to, to grab any of that. So, do I immediately fire off a... Phase door and hope it puts us in a better initial situation. Oh, my speed's 96. I don't have enough points. And eh, we should be fine. Well, if it was just the one predator, I think I'm going to have more than one. At least more than one enemy. I don't know if it's going to be more than one predator. I think he came in from the back and I had somebody else over here. It's possible he came through and then hopped next to me. I, I don't know yet. We definitely can't fight him at this kind of a range. Especially with no protection. He's gonna chop me up real quick. Can't remember if there are, you know, probably going to I think my my best bet might be well 
God, I don't know. I think chain phasing might be the best option. Get me away from him, even if it sends me some random direction. Anywhere north is good for me. Anywhere... Yeah, I, I think I'm going to phase. I think I have to phase. No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna melee this guy. <laughs> no way. I got no no protection whatsoever on. I just got real basic clothes. He's gonna instantly cause a whole mess of pain and bleeding, and um, I'm not ready to fight this kind of a, an enemy. Not even close. I'm gonna hope my dodge protects me from some of his attacks, which is kind of hard. He's 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 got pretty high levels. Oh, I'd love to phase next to a Kevlar Hulk. I'm not worried about a Kevlar Hulk. <laughs> They're slow. As long as I got stamina, Kevlar Hulks are no problem. But uh, this guy can see me in the dark and can follow me easily. He's faster than me, he can see further than me, and he's tougher than me. So he's the nightmare. That's the one thing I was hoping to really, really avoid. And we knew there were going to be a mess of them. But I think I think, uh, I think phasing is my best, ability, my best option here. So, phase door. Uh, okay. Not awesome. He can still see me, so he's still going to be coming at me. That's hoping to get through a wall. Let's see. Let's switch to run mode. Oh, they didn't even do me the service of breaking the, the window entirely. I could phase again now before he gets near me. I think he's close enough that the phase isn't likely to land me to next likely to land me next to him. But maybe it will. Hmm. I'm gonna move left one more time, see if he hops anywhere within my view range. So did he hop north? That wouldn't have made much sense. Okay, if I phase again now, it might put me outside, which could be a mixed bag. It's close enough that the phase is going to put me at least, if it goes this direction, it's going to put me at least here and possibly out here. Possibly down here, which would be good. Yeah, let's do another phase right now. Well, I got the minimum in that direction. So that wasn't ideal. Go ahead and run again. You can only hop so many times. Well, hi there, Mr. Emerald Guerrero, the healer. <laughs> I got bad news for you. <laughs> Oh my! Maybe uh, what you got? You you gonna fire a gun or anything? Cause I need to know that. Uh, I'm not sure what weapon this person might have, if any. Yeah, I knew there was an NPC in the shop. There usually is. All I need to do is get the NPC closer to the uh, the predator than I am. Grab what I want and then run away. All right. Before I do that, I need to take a quick break. I got uh, something here I need to go do real fast. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. Ready to go. <laughs> All right, Brandon, just don't start firing guns. Take it, you know, take it like a magic shop owner and uh, try not to scream too loud when it rips you up. All right, we're going out the door by him. Oh, yeah, bleeding. <laughs> he hit something. Now he's bleeding. Okay. Now I have to decide, do I go back in? I don't know how long he might survive. Am I greedy enough to go back in? I'm greedy enough to go back in. Stop running. Give me that. Give me those. Whoops! And he's back. <laughs> Damn it! 
Scroll of Smite. Uh, and I'm somewhat low on stamina. You kill that guy already? And did he have pants? That's that's the more important question. Did he have pants? How much longer can I play tiptoe with a feral predator? I'm wondering if I can combine. Uh, if I'd left the windows closed, if I could flip a light on and then phase and then magic missile him once or twice and then phase again, magic missile him once or twice. I moved away. I don't know 100% if the NBC is dead yet. He very well could be already. So this is either the same predator who killed the guy and then jumped back over to me or it's a second one. I, I don't know. Actually, is he? Is this one damaged? Nope, not damaged. <laughs> so if it's the same predator, that healer was pretty ineffective. <laughs> uh, no matter what, we need to change position. So, whoa! <laughs> now we're in trouble. <laughs> now we're in trouble because now I'm going to get tag team disrupted every time I try to cast. I may never get this spell off, and we might die right here. <laughs> Might be an early night for Cataclysm. Oh, wait. Oop, I forgot I uh, turned off the... Do-do-do. Uh, Do-do-do. Sorry. Uh, which one is it? Alert box. Alert box! <laughs> hey, Oberdictum. Thanks very much for the resub. The message didn't appear. I had turned off the uh, the alert box messages yesterday when we had some, some weird problem going on with it. Been watching too much CDDA on your YouTube lately. Figured you'd throw your prime this month. I appreciate it very much. I don't know if today will be so much Zambi killing as being killed by Zambies. <laughs> okay, I have to decide. I'm about to get swatted and I may not get this spell off ever again. We might be dead before the spell goes off. And or it won't put me far enough. Now with two of them... It gets way more complicated. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I'm going to try it. We'll see how, how dead we are, how quick. That's not far enough. I need it to put me out of the building right damn now. <laughs> so now we're at the whims of fate. Do I step forward and then try, or do I just try from here? I need one, two, three, four. I'm already, if it picks north... Well, if it picks, like, one of these directions. I don't know exactly how it picks the directions that you go. And if it counts diagonals or, or, or how the math works. Because now i got two of them that can each le leap at their own timing. One just leapt. I should have at least a round or so before he can leap again. I'm thinking of stepping north. That way, either east, north, northeast, any of this arc will be safe-ish because they won't be able to see me and I should be able to creep away. So I'm just not 100% sure that one of them won't jump next to me and then interrupt my attempt to cast. We got lucky with that one. But I think that's still going to be the better move. If it, if it ports me this way, we're in, we're in big trouble because it's probably going to drop me right next to them. But we're, we're playing the odds this time, so let's uh, switch back to run mode. Pop up. Perfect. Perfect! That's exactly what we needed. Now we're out of their line of sight. And uh, they might might still be able to hear me, but I'm going to immediately go... Oh, crap. Where were... Actually, there was nothing much up here. We're going to immediately go around the edge of that and then just sprint for our buggy. I got enough stamina, I should be able to make it to the buggy. So, we're going to keep running. Hope nothing new shows up. Don't show up right now. I'm going to be so low on stamina. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no hit points lost. Hey, Benjamin! Oh, did we dodge? Did I successfully dodge? Oops. 
Uh, damn it. Your phase door. When was I hauling items? <laughs> oh, I, I must have accidentally hit the key. Leaps. Yeah, I, I dodged him. Right there. All hail the dodge. That was the second batch that I picked up. That's the death of the uh, the healer. <laughs> okay, let's let's back out of here. Reevaluate. I don't know if I should press my luck, especially now that we've got the night vision option. I've never actually. I don't know what class that falls into. Oh crap! Is that animist? Is that like ne necromancer animist? I probably, I got it, but I probably can't even learn it. Uh, let's assume we're safe here. Yeah, because you know that's my favorite thing to do, assuming I'm safe. Stop. Eh, stop running. Headlights off. Stop driving. Safe mode on. Wait. Get my breath back. <laughs> Yes, I would like to stop waiting. That Hulk is still here. Probably the same one. Alright, let's move on a little bit. Right after I check the sky for the 14th time. Clear. Clear. Cloudy. Clear. Cloudy. Clear. Cloudy. <laughs> yeah, we just got this invisible cloud front over here. All right, let's let's move a little further away. I need to find a spot where I can flip a flashlight on for a short bit without getting hammered by anything too nasty. Ooh, grappler! <laughs> Almost drove right next to that guy. That would have been really bad. All right, let's hope this is empty enough. Activate flashlights. Safe mode is still on. We should be able to move or leave before anything too nasty gets to me. Read. Dark sight. Classless. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. All right. So we can learn it. Range one, max level one. Oh, even more beautiful. I could learn it right now if we get lucky and we learn it real quick. We might be able to actually put it into the use. All right, let's look at the other ones real quick. So we also... Man, we got quite the haul. Fireball is Kelvinist. Yep. Grotesque is Biomancer. So that increases my physical abilities and strength. That is good. Max level 20. That'll take us quite a bit of time to learn. So very yay. Very maybe. Very yay. That's Techno. And uh, isn't Technomancer the last one I can take? Biomagus. Oh, I haven't committed to... Uh, wait. Yeah, I got two more I can take. All right, so cool. Technomancer is one of the ones I wanted, so we're definitely going to use that. So we can do Bless as well, which is also stupid awesome. Between Bless and Grotesque, those are two huge, hugely beneficial enhancements. And Dark Side, of course. And we got the Idiot's Guide for Taze and Quantum Tunnel. So that'll let me uh, phase through walls on purpose. <laughs> Specifically in specific directions. Taze, I I don't have a lot of experience with Taze. I think uh, if I have, it's been a while. But between those two and uh, Bless, we got a really good medley of ones. I don't know. I'm, I'm tempted to just bail now, head back home, and get these things learned up. But I, I desperately want to also get those books. Let's see if we can learn the dark sight and see how much of a how much sight we get. It's only got one level. This is where I find out that uh, safe mode doesn't engage while you're studying a, a magic book. <laughs> well, we're not winning the. Well, there we go. We learned it. Still 340. We got a little bit of time left. All right. So turn off the flashlight. 
Cast. Please tell me I can cast it. 53%, 500 mana. 100 moves casting time, and it lasts for 16 minutes. That would be long enough. We got 3,400 mana, so we got a pretty solid pool. 16 minutes, I can get quite a bit done in that amount of time. I just want to know how what, what the range on it is. Is it like full night vision? Failed. Failed. Uh, target self. Competed by gloves and mobility. Yeah, I'm not going to improve that much. I just have to cast it successfully. It'll jump to level one. And we'll get better chances after that. There we go. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Same vision as the moon was providing. Beautiful. Now that I can work with. Because that'll work indoors, outdoors, cloudy, whatever. That is beautiful. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 spaces of night vision. That gives me enough range that even if a predator shows up, I can smash him with magic missile several times before he gets to me, then port, phase, or phase door, then hit him again. That'll burn through my mana pretty quick, but it'll save me at least a few times, so for short trips, I think we might be able to manage it. We might! 16 minutes is going to go by pretty quick. So we have dark sight. All right. Headphone cable. Stay where you're supposed to be. Oh, that is that is going to be nice. That is going to be nice. Um, I am of the opinion I should bail. I think I now have enough stuff that I need to learn and level up that would be really, really helpful that I should do that before I risk heading back into town. I, I no longer care about the, the moon, so I'm not tied to that moon. And evolution's already maxed, essentially, so time going by has no real effect on me. So, we're out of here. Without doubt. That is the smart play on a hard challenge. So, we're heading home. I shall return. Man, it's kind of weird driving like this, though. <laughs> I think I might switch back to the moonlight just because I'm kind of kind of wigged out by the bright green. <laughs> oh, that was so clutch. All thanks to the uh, poor, unsuspecting magic shop night uh, NPC. <laughs> Nope, no books this time. We're going to wait on the books. We're going to end up spending like two weeks just learning these spells. <laughs> and this is the Magic Mutant run, so it's been forever since I... Whoa, I'm going the totally wrong way. It's been forever since I actually put a bunch of time into leveling up magic stuff, so... We're going to do it! Oh, crap. I don't know what I hit there. Don't break my quad bike. This is going to power us up significantly. Smoke zombie. Don't worry, we shall return. That's still the best spot I can see for going after the book supply. Because a single library, with the way they've got the books distributed now, can, can solve pretty much all of my book problems. So, we'll be returning. Yeah, that got a little scary. It went from everything's fine, everything's great, to, oh my god, two predators. Just that quick. Wouldn't be so bad if they weren't so fast, and so hoppy, and had night vision. <laughs> and knocked you down and made you bleed. Man, I hate predators. Give me all the Dissolute Devourers, Skell Jugs, and Hulks you want. I'll, I'll take them all over a single Predator.
Alright, just keep going this way till we catch the road north to our base. <laughs> yeah, dark sight's gonna be hugely helpful. Hugely helpful! I was I was so worried how I was gonna get any kind of night vision. Anytime in the near future, given where all the hunting supply stores are, which is the best location for the night vision goggles. Other than that, it's barracks that we don't have the computer skill and such to get into, but now with the lesser quantum tunnel, we'll be able to go right through the wall, er, specifically. Uh, as long as I shepherd my mana, we can go in and out of barracks and libraries and vaults and so on with no problem. And even armories. So both of those are, I mean, the, the, the spell selection we got was just ridiculously helpful for us. Home sweet home. Good job, cart. I'm just going to leave most of this stuff out here. Yeah, we'll just leave that stuff out. Here. You can see how much I can get accomplished on that one one casting a dark sight. Oh, it's not going to it doesn't show me the timer. Ooh. That's a little rougher. I guess I'll have to keep track of it. <laughs> Uh, otherwise. And it's... We can't level it, so... that That's what we get. 17 minutes. The range of one means targeting range of one, not, uh, not vision range. But, um... Yeah, the 50-50 is not really a problem, usually. If it cut out right when I needed it, that'd be a little little rough, but we're going to keep raising our spellcraft, which will lower this some. But since we can't level this spell, it's... Oh, wait. We can level it. Wait a minute. I thought it said... All right, let me... <laughs> One second. Activate. Atomic Reading Light. Read. Roll of Dark Say. Max level 1. Max level 20. Oh, God, never mind. My brain wasn't working right. Range 1 and at max level it's 1. So, yeah, we can actually make it better. So, we can level it up to increase the duration and bring down the uh, uh, the fail percent. But casting cost, casting time is not going to change. Duration does change, so it actually goes longer and longer, which is great. All right, so, yeah, we'll, we'll put some time into leveling this as well. We're high enough now that difficulty 6 shouldn't be too bad. So that's beautiful. Oh man, this is going to be fun now. We got some good stuff. Unfortunately, it means some more bunker time. I know you guys all love the bunker time. Can't get enough of Orm sitting in a bunker. Sitting in a vehicle. <laughs> sitting in a, a shelter. <laughs> now, nah, don't deny it. I know you all love it. Okay. Do, do, do. At least this time it's a little more interesting. <laughs> let's see. We're going to go ahead and lock ourselves in a Technomancer as well. So let's go ahead and uh, study Bless and get that learned. Oh, this is going to be so, so much help. Bless and uh, Grotesque overlapped with uh, the Dark Vision. Yep, lock me out of Earthshaper. I'm fine with that. Okay, we've now got three of our four. Bio, Magus, and Techno. And I definitely also want Lesser Quantum Tunnel. Well, you have no choice. You can only ever get four of the eight. There's always four diametrically opposed, so... Four is the most. I'm perfectly happy with the ones we've got so far. I forget what the last two choices are. So we got Quantum Tunnel. Um, I can't do protection from Magical Beasts or Magitech, so... Oh, Tailoring 6 needed. Cool. Never mind. Those are different. Those are uh, crafting type books. 
Mechanics to five. Oh, oh, it just gets better and better. I forgot about these. <laughs> oh, man. Look at that. We can actually read it to level our mechanics. Hey there, Magitech. So you had what? Oh, yeah. The bracelets. Uh, the suppressor. The silent winds suppressor. The mana laser sight. Mana dot sight. The shot cestus. They still don't get the shot cestus. Unless it got fixed again. So, yeah. That gets me closer. I think now... Holy crap, I think now we have everything I need, because isn't that going to get me high enough mechanics that I can then get my vehicle welding rig put together? And as soon as I get that installed, I can fully repair everything on the vehicle except for the armor. I need mech 6 to repair the armor, but otherwise we can... Uh... Yeah, I think we'll be able to put everything together. So not only do we get a huge, huge boost in magical ability... But, and combat ability with the various bonuses we can cast ourselves, but uh, it also, that book solves our, our mechanics problem and gets me 90% of the way to getting the Humvee fixed up. Yeah, this will take me to Mech 5. So, I've got a book for the recipe, I just don't have a high enough mech skill to, uh, to use it yet. Uh, what else? So, might as well grab Taze or grab all of them while we're doing this, and then we'll figure out what we're going to level. Oh, this is going to help so much. Okay, so Fireball is still Kelvinist, so it's Kelvinist and whatever Kelvinist opposes. I, I don't remember. Let's go look. I should go look. Uh... Go look here and here. Uh, nope, that's not the one. That one right there. All right, uh, Kelvinist and Storm Shaper. That's the last pairing. So I took Magus over Animist. I hate the Animists. I hate them. <laughs> I just don't like that whole class. Kelvinist over Storm Shaper is the only other one we haven't taken. So I could take the Kelvinist line because I've already got a few damage dealing spells that are in that grouping and lock us out of Storm Shaper. I've never actually taken Storm Shaper. In my memory, I don't believe I have ever taken Storm Shaper or Earth Shaper, actually. I've tried all the others to limited amounts, very, very small amounts, but I've never been either Storm Shaper or Earth Shaper. So. That's kind of funny, because I'm taking every single one <laughs> on the left side of the list he has. Magus, Kelvinus, Technomancer, Biomancer, and everything that on the right side I'm not taking. <laughs> so... I, Kelvinist, Storm Shaper... I, I think I'm just going to go ahead and lock into Kelvinist and go for it. Storm Shaper might have the best spell. It might, but what are the chances I'm actually going to find it? Right now, we've got uh, Fireball, we've got Point Flare, and we've got Ice Spike. So we've got uh, single target fire damage, single target ice damage, and a AoE fire damage. So we're already pretty far ahead. What I'll need to do after this is figure out which mutations I want to take to have the chances to get all the mutation, the mana enhancing benefits and uh, raise my int. So hopefully we get the CBM for int, we get the mutations for int, get ourselves up to like 20 intelligence, if not higher, have a mana pool of like 7,000. <laughs> <clears throat> I know slime is one, uh, cephalopod is one, I forget the others. Well, slime has the doubling intelligence, or is it cephalopod? I can't remember. But you have to go post-threshold to get the really, really good one, and there's pretty major negatives associated with it as well. That mana pool? <laughs> no. Magicalism's pretty, pretty well balanced in regards to the mana pool and the damage that you can do. It's basically balanced like guns. If you have a gun, you can do as much damage as you can with, like, spells. Until you've spent huge amounts of time leveling up and, and coming to the far ends of the, the levels on some of the spells. Then it starts to tip over, but it should, given how much time and effort you're putting into it. So, 
But otherwise, yeah, that mana pool will vaporize instantly. If I head into town right now and start slinging spells around, <laughs> I'll last about five minutes, and then we'll be, bum we'll be bottomed out on mana. It doesn't recover very fast either, so... Slime, Cephalopod, and Elf. Yeah, those are the magic ones. I remembered Slime and Cephalopod. I always forget about Elf, eh? Distributed Neurology. That's the one, but man, you, you pay a price for getting it. <laughs> there's there's some, some pretty hefty negatives involved with uh, the, the Slime high end. Nah, Elf, has been around forever. Elf is probably what we'll aim for. I mean, much as I want to do the the slime doubling of intelligence, I've I've done that before, and uh, the limited benefit. There's some pretty major negative consequences to that as well. So, mana touch. Is that a mutation specific for Magicism? I haven't played Magicism specifically in a while, so I've been waiting for some other stuff to get put in and get fixed and all that. So, I'm I'm a bit out of date on the Magicism stuff. Yeah, we'll definitely head into the Goblin Encampment. We know where there's a couple of them, so... We're getting there, but um, we'll talk about that later. I, I'm nowhere near doing any of that stuff, so I'm not going to worry about it right now. Uh, so, that's just a mechanics book. So, I'm going to... I'm gonna, uh, Much as Storm Shaper might be cool, I've got lots of spells for Kelvinist already, so I'm just going to lock into Kelvinist and we'll be we'll be done. I won't have to worry about it or... or, or, or anything like that so let's just do it all right Calvinist yep Calvinist fits more into my magic wielding wizard dragon type of motif than the storm shaper anyway Yes. All right, we're locked. Yeah. Magic's extremely powerful in certain circumstances. I find that I get the most benefit out of the utility stuff than the damage stuff. I do very little damage with the magicalism stuff compared to what I can do with just a character with my fists or... I just know the game so well and I can build characters and I know where all the gear is and so on that I, I can outclass the Magicalism damage unless I can spend a huge amount of time leveling up spells and so on, which I've never been able to do. Just been too hard to come across them in the past when I spent time in Magicalism. All right, we've learned everything on those. Go ahead and finish up these two. We need to go to sleep here pretty soon. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, heal's pretty powerful, and uh, the druid bow is is also very powerful. I I do not disagree; those are pretty good. I raged and raved about the uh, druid bow from the very first time that magicalism got introduced. All right, we're going to go take a nap after we finish studying this one, if we don't go dead tired beforehand. <laughs> I think we'll have everything at least initially learned at that point, and then it's just picking what we're going to level up. I'll probably do the, the mechanics leveling first so that we can kind of intersperse what we do. But yeah, I find more use, uh, more powerful use out of the utility stuff. The phase door obviously saved my ass uh, in that situation. Uh, the night vision is usually beneficial. The the blessing is usually beneficial. Synaptic enhancement or whatever that spell is that increases your speed <laughs> massively, massively special. I hope we get across get access to that one as well for the technomancer. Um, having that and bless and grotesque all running simultaneously. Oh man, <laughs> pain split. Don't get hit. Never use it. <laughs> Only useful, I think, in very certain circumstances. If you have a limb about to break, then it's really good to do pain split. Distribute the damage so you don't have uh, the chance for that limb to break. But beyond that, it's the same amount of hit points that you're going to have to heal up across the board. So 
the uh, the utility of it is that prevention of uh, certain circumstances, like broken limb or like if both of your legs have been hit by acid effect, for example, and you've crossed into that zone of damage where your speed is massively reduced, then you want a pain split so you can raise the hit points on the legs to get your speed back. Things like that. But from a pure hit point perspective, you gain nothing. You just redistribute the damage so you can avoid um, certain negative consequences of having a particular limb deep into the uh, the damage. Synaptic stimulation, yeah, that's the one. Love, 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 love me the synaptic stimulation. Throw that and bless on, and man, you're 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 rocking some pretty powerful stats. Okay, uh, we got all those done. We'll fire them off individually once we uh, have taken a nap. <laughs> let's, let's go take a nap. I think this is the most spells I've had in 90% of my magicalism runs already. Oops, I eh, should have gotten something to eat and drink first. We are Thursday. Uh, old oatmeal, <laughs> minus two joy for seven calories. Yeah, that's not good stuff. Finish that. Let's finish the stuff in one. Oh yeah, mess mana potion now. That's right. I gotta, I gotta dump some stuff out. Fast food, French fries. Oh yeah, that's 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 still good, huh? <laughs> shelf life indefinite. Fast food, fresh fast food, French fries have an indefinite shelf life. That's news to me. Eat them fresh or throw them away. Yuck. over there zombie dog <laughs> he's rolling around on the ground on his back got an itch <laughs> apparently he's got an itch <laughs> our plummet into starvation is continuing I see no matter how much we eat doesn't matter how many items I stuff into my face I'm sure all these magical body alterations aren't going to mess up that in any way, shape, or form. Yeah, I mean, that night vision spell alone is 500 of my 3,500 mana. And I'd have to cast it a bunch of times if I was going to just stroll around town. Because every time I go to rest, get my stamina back, that's like 8 minutes. That's half of the duration of the, the, the night vision, and I'd have to recast it. So every single couple times I try to rest after a fight, I'd have to be recasting it. That's one of my biggest issues with a lot of the Magicalism balance stuff, is it's all timer-based, and the costs have not been changed or adjusted since the time that the stamina changes were put in, and now it takes eight minutes to go from winded to full stamina. So... You, you cast these really expensive spells with a decent duration, but then the instant you go to rest to get your breath back, blam, all your spells are, have expired and you have to recast them again. That bothers me. I, 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 I Maybe a change has been made. I, I don't know that for, for sure, but um, those changes pretty radically altered, I think, some of the initial math that was done on the casting costs and all that. So Now you don't lose mana. Do not. You can cast as many times as you want. That's why I sometimes don't care if I have like a 90% fail rate. <laughs> as long as it's a spell I don't plan to cast in combat, then I'll just keep trying to recast it over and over again until it finally goes off. Because there's no downside to it other than the, the 100 action points or whatever that you spent. Okay, we are done with the initial spell learning. Let's flip on a flashlight and try to do some damage. So what do we got? Grotesque enhancement. 57% fail chance. Target self. 
Eight, nine, twelve, eight. Failed, 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 failed. There we go. Something about how this spell works just clicked. You gained a level. Your body ripples with writhing alien muscles. Your limbs lengthen and your eyes glow with a faint green. There we go. Nine, ten, twelve, nine. <laughs> So, plus one and plus five speed. Plus one to strength, dex, perception, plus five speed. Now on top of that plus five speed, we're now going to cast Bless. On me, of course. That also clicked. Now we're up to 11, 12, 12, 11. <laughs> so we're Bless, which is plus two, plus two, plus two, and plus 20 speed. So now we're up three points in all of our stats except for Intelligence. And 25 speed points from those two spells. That cost me 250 mana to do that. Now, the downside is how long they last. Don't get too excited. I mean, these are great. But like I said, the instant I refresh or I, I try to recover my stamina, uh, they go away. Because lasts one minute and three seconds with grotesque enhancement. That's 60 seconds. It takes eight minutes to get your stamina back. So you fight, 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 fight. Rest. All your spells are gone and you got to recast them again. Bless, pretty much the same thing. One minute four, one minute three. So, yeah, they seem powerful, but they don't last long. And the instant you go to refresh your stamina, you got to recast them all over again. That's what I mean by they burn fast. They're great for one, one fight, one encounter, but then you basically have to redo everything for the next fight. And you don't really have time to sit there and... Oh my god, two Predators just hopped on me. Oh wait, Predators, you guys chill for a second, or for two or three minutes. Let me cast Grotesque, let me cast Bless, let me cast this other thing. <laughs> nope, not gonna happen. And you can't keep them running long enough to uh, just put them on you and just toddle around town, because they'll all drain. So, <laughs> like I said, don't get too excited. They seem powerful until you actually try to use them in a combat situation. Then you go... Oh, that's the problem. <laughs> so we'll buff them up. We'll we'll get some spell levels and we'll we'll extend those durations a bit. But uh, don't expect to, like an hour long durations on those kinds of things. Not gonna happen. All right, what else we got? Uh, magic light. We've got to one. We've got all the runes. We got four runes available. Dark sights ready. Oh yeah, fireball. 41% and I can target a location that is not me and is not a wall. <laughs> uh, let's not let's not break something there. Let's fire it. Let's go up top and fire it. I'm not sure what's going to break and what's not going to break. We'll launch it off this direction. All right, fireball. Go thus. Go thusly. Uh, I. There we go. Now we got level one of the fireball. Now we're down to 33% fail chance. <clears throat> Next up, we haven't fired a gravity well successfully yet. Oh, we got enough that we've got a 41% fail chance because we got it down some. All right, but we've already caught past the uh, the free level, so no point in casting it now. Ice spike. I need a target for ice spike, don't I? I can't cast this without a target. Yep, yeah, got to have a hostile target. Uh, phase door. That's what we don't need. Point flare also needs a target. Lesser quantum tunnel. All right, let's do lesser quantum tunnel. Failed. Succeeded. Hmm. Is that whole uncertainty thing of where you come at? Really? It's randomized as well? Wait a minute. Where's phase door? That's the one I was looking for. Random direction, short distance. Funnel you through a short distance of space and even matter. Wait a minute. <laughs> I, I, I thought this was the one that lets you specifically walk in a certain direction through a wall. They're both random? And this one's just farther distance random? Or is it at least the direction that I'm... Now it doesn't know what direction I'm facing. Doesn't require hands, so I could have a weapon in my hands and still be able to cast this. And it leaves you dazed. Huh.
I'm a little I'm a little I'm a little curious about that one. It's got a farther range than the other one, but it's still totally random. What the hell's the point of that? Why do we have Magus and Technomancer each have their own tele random teleport? Huh. All right. I, is, has this always been this way? Am I misremembering? I thought for sure this was going to be the equivalent of the CBM that lets you tunnel through walls and you just pay power for the distance you go. Maybe there's another spell that I haven't found yet, but I could have sworn Lesser Quantum Tunnel was that one, so I, I don't know if this got changed or what. 99 mana for a farther teleport. And it says duration 100 moves, so a one turn de delay. Whereas this has no delay. This is only at 9 distance at spell level 1. It's going to go up. I, I don't know. No, it's not the, not a quantum tunnel. Uh, what the hell's the name of that CBM? Uh, where are you? Probability travel. That's the one. Increases the body's wavelength, allowing the user to quantum tunnel through walls, reappearing on the other side. Power drain is 250 per. That's the one I thought it was going to be, with all the talk about the quantum tunnel, but um, apparently not. Apparently it's uh, the spell version is a random teleport, just like the phase door. Got a larger distance, and it stuns you for one round, but I mean, as long as you move one space further, you're, you're saving. It's still fine. Hmm. Both cost a hundred, essentially. Yeah, I I don't know. That's weird. All right. Well, everything I can uh, fire off is fired off. So down we go. Forgot I had the flashlight on. Okay. Very hungry. Have another ration bar or two. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot the practice target counts for the hostile target. That is true. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll just set it up. Oh, back here. Do, do, do. Yes. Let's see. Ice spike. Nope. <laughs> Get a little closer. Ice spike. There we go. Oh, maybe not. No, it's not letting me. Doesn't work. It targets that spot, but it's not counting as an actual hostile. And it's not letting me actually cast the spell. So. <laughs> oh, well. Yep, can't get it to actually fire. Do do. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get our mechanics up first before I do anything else. Settle down. Settle 
So, vehicle welding rig. That's what we need right there. We've got the uh, glare protection and the arc welder out in the vehicle. So, steel frame welding component kits. Which we're gonna make, oh, I need a, do I need a second soldering iron for that? I need to unload the soldering iron I've got or make a soldering iron. Can't make a soldering iron currently. All right, I got a couple. Good job, Bormithrax. Good job. <clears throat> so let's go grab some stuff. Give me welding goggles. Steel frame. Oops, actually. That one. 